Hey there, YouTube. It's me, Broken Terrain, and I'm bringing you a video about making crates? That's right. Check it out right after the drop. Before jumping into the craft, uh, I just wanted to tell you that this is absolutely something you don't need to do. Uh, the craft stores sell these blocks, these wooden blocks. Some of them are one inch, some of them are half or a little bigger or a little smaller. They come in all different sizes. You can find them at the dollar store, at Michael's, at Hobby Lobby. You just don't need to make crates. You can set your guys on top of them and behind and yeah. So why bother, right? Well, I'm going to show you. I uh, rather like my crates. I think they look really good. They uh, up the ante a little bit on that tabletop there. You can still, oh, oh man, don't make me look bad. There you go. You can still put uh, your figurines on top of them and behind them. And uh, I like grouping them up like this. It saves time. Uh, you don't have to set each individual uh, crate down. Um, and I also feel like this is a project you can do when you're facing a little creative block. You still want to make something. Uh, you just don't know what. Uh, making a batch of crates is a, a great way to break that creative block. Uh, and with that being said, let's get down to it. I've got a piece of scrap. You don't need much of anything to make these. Cut myself out a, a little block and then I just take my X-Acto and I'm going to go around the bottom of one edge and just cut where the uh, the bottom of the board would be and then along each edge do the same thing scoring where a board would be and when all corners are scored I'm going to do a diagonal board from the bottom corner to the top edge. Once those marks have been scored, I'm going to carefully uh, cut out those triangles and recess those areas of the crate just slightly. This is going to give the crate uh, the effect of being uh, put together with some timbers on the outside. You might find this a, a touch difficult at first, but uh, two or three crates in, four to, uh, doing each four sides on every crate, you're going to get uh, very proficient at it. Then you take that recessed area and you score it as though it were several boards. Doesn't matter the size, doesn't matter the number, whatever you think looks good, these are your crates and you should make them according to uh, how you think a good crate should look. Grab that pen and just trace over all of that uh, scoring. Be careful with the four uh, boards on the corners of your crate. Uh, if you've scored a little deep, those boards might be a little loose. You can always hot glue them uh, to strengthen them up. And when we cut and put a cap piece on this crate, uh, we can use that hot glue and strengthen up that bond as well there. Don't forget to draw your wood grain in with your pen. Uh, there's not a lot to hit with the wood grain, but uh, every little bit of texture helps sell. And you want people to buy these. Buy them as crates when they see them on the table. Now we're going to cut a, a cap piece for the, the top of the crate. And this is where you could make the crate hollow um, or add some things to your crate but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue this top on and this crate is going to be a closed nailed together and closed crate and this is where you could spread that hot glue on those little corner pieces just a little dab will do you and this is going to help make sure those uh, those scored beams stay glued to that crate trim the cap to size so it looks nice and on the cap you're just gonna do four or five little boards 
did it with that pen. And uh, this is a fantastic little tool I found at the dollar store. And I use it to poke nails or nail holes and boards. So with this little tool, I'm just gonna go uh, around the entire little crate and pop where some little nails hole, uh, nail holes would be. And it's just gonna be uh, an extra level of awesome on this tiny little uh, crate. The footage is uh, sped up, but only 200%. Uh, I, you can really churn out a nice looking crate in not a lot of time. Uh, so, you know, if you got a little creative block or darn it, you want to make something and you just don't know what, well, I recommend sitting down and trying out some of, the, some of these crates. Now, as I mentioned earlier, uh, I don't like putting down one crate at a time. I, uh, I like to have a little pile of crates uh, that I can just throw down quickly. And so I'm going to take my fender washer, hot glue it to some thin card, and then start gluing my crates down. This particular piece, I've got a couple stacked, uh, but I do some other formations as well. And I recommend even putting in some barrels too. Um, I'll put a link to my barrel hack video. Those are uh, a real simple way to turn out some really good looking barrels. I wish I had done that in this particular instance, but uh, hey, that just means I'm gonna have to sit back down and uh, make some more crates. All right, next we're gonna hide our edges with a little white PVA glue and some craft sand. So I'll just squirt the glue around the edges, hide that washer, hide some of the gaps. No big deal. Uh, a commenter told me to just donk them. What are you doing sprinkling it? Just donk them. So uh, yeah, a real good technique. I liked it, thank you very much. I uh, hit them with that base coat, half black acrylic paint, half matte Mod Podge, and then I'm going to cover them in a burnt sienna. Just going to slather it all over. Make sure you get in all them nooks and crannies. Uh, not a big deal if you don't though, because you did uh, base it in black. Uh, then I'm going to give it a, a wet brush. A uh, dry, uh, dry brush, but even sloppier of a uh, honey brown. This is gonna pick out all the uh, all the boards, all those little nail holes. Really add uh, definition to everything. And then we're gonna mute the hell out of everything with my homemade black wash. I've had a couple uh, people ask for the recipe. Uh, I can't, in good conscience, share this recipe with you. Um, I appreciate it if you like the results, and I'm working on a better one, so when I find something that I think is worth sharing, um, I'll, blast, uh, I'll blast that out for everybody, but until then, you'll just have to be content watching me ruin pieces with my homemade wash. No, I like it. It's good. Things turn out good. Uh, and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to highlight all those edges with my granite gray. Uh, this is going to match my modular townhouse. And you see a little setup here. We've got Tin Lee and the captain of the Shamrock Boys and they're after a magic amulet that they heard was inside this warehouse. But wait a minute. Who is that? Did she find the amulet first? You're just going to have to uh, keep watching my videos to find out. <laughs> so uh, until next time, everybody like each other, love each other, and craft on.